Good morning, my dear students. I'm Daphnika. Welcome to my discussions today. So, as I remember, we already discussed how to draw the line spectrum. So, what are we going to discuss today? So, we will discuss about what is the meaning of、um, spectra series, and then、um, what is the formula to calculate the wavelength and the frequency of the line spectrum. Then we have to know what is the meaning of converging limit, or we can call it series limit. Then we will study about the formations of the emission spectrum. Lastly, we will discuss three questions, which is talking about、um, how to draw the line spectrum, how to calculate the wavelength or frequency of the line spectrum. Now let's look at the first. My dear student, Nearbow proposed Bohr model of atom in 1915. The Bohr model is a modification of the early Rutherford model. Therefore, some people call Bohr model the Rutherford Bohr model. The Bohr model of the atom was the first that incorporated quantum theory. Neil Bohr used quantum theory to explain the behavior of the electron in a hydrogen atom. Now, let's look at the assumptions of the Bohr model. Firstly, the electron in a hydrogen atom travels around the nucleus in a fixed circular path of different radii that we call it orbit. According to Bohr model. The energy of the electron in an orbit is proportional to its distance from the nucleus. That means, the further the electron is from the nucleus, the more energy it has. He related the energy of the electron to the radius of its orbit, but not by using the classic law of physics. Next, only a limited number of orbit. With certain energy are allowed. That means the energy of orbit are quantized. According to this model, the electron could circle the nucleus in orbit of only certain radii, which correspond to specific energy. As you know, radiation is absorbed or emitted when an electron moves from one orbit to another. So, light is absorbed when an electron jumps to a higher energy orbit, and emitted when an electron falls into a lower energy orbit. So, the energy of the light emitted or absorbed is exactly equal to the difference between the energy of the orbit. Next, you have to know. The emission spectrum of atomic hydrogen has been divided into a number of spectra series. In the hydrogen spectrum, the spacing between lines within certain set of the hydrogen spectrum decreases in a regular way. Each of these set are called spectra series. So let's look at the following energy diagram. Show all the possible transitions that result in the different spectra line for Lyman, Baumer, Pascal, Bracket, and Fermi series. For the Lyman series, which is in the region of ultraviolet, the transmission energy level is from n is equal to two, three, four, and so on to N is equal to one, followed by Baumer series, which is in visible light region. The transition energy level is from N is equal to three, four, five, and so on, to N is equal to two. Next should be Pascal series, which is in the infrared region, followed by Bracket series. Lastly. Front series. So, my dear student, according to this theory, 
the wavelength of the hydrogen spectrum could be calculated by using the following formula. Next, we will see what is the meaning of converging limit of the line spectrum. The Lyman series is a series of lines in the ultraviolet region. So, the first line of any series has the highest intensity. This is because more energy is needed to get the electron of the hydrogen atom into the higher energy states. The lines grow closer and closer together as the frequency increases. Let's look at this particular point, known as converging limit or we can call it series limit. So, the convergence frequency is when the electron is excited from n is equal to 1 to n is equal to infinity. Therefore, the electron difference in the Lyman series between the ground state which is n is equal to 1 and the excited state at the convergence limit which is n is equal to infinity is called the ionization energy of hydrogens. Lastly, in Balmer series or the Pascal series, the pattern is the same but the series are more compact. Next, we will go to the questions in example 1. Calculate the wavelength of the fault line in Balmer series of hydrogen. Now, let's see what is the meaning of fault line in Balmer series. Just referring to the energy level diagram here. The fault line of Balmer series here means the N1 is equal to 2 and the N2 is equal to 6. Next, by using the formula, lastly, you will get the wavelength is equal to 4.1 times 10 to the power of negative 5 cm. Next, let's look at the second question. In the hydrogen atom, how many possible lines are formed due to the transitions between the first four energy levels? First, we draw the y axis, which is labeled as energy. Then we draw the energy level, which is n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, and lastly n is equal to 4. So the first line of the electron transitions should be from n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1. For second line in the line spectrum should be from n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 1. Lastly, n is equal to 4 to n is equal to 1. So this electron transitions only for Lyman series. Next, we refer to the electron transitions from n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 2, n is equal to 4 to n is equal to 2. Lastly, there is a electron transitions from n is equal to 4 to n is equal to 3. Now, it is very clear that there are total 6 lines formed in the line spectrum. Lastly, we look at the last question. The first four lines of the emission spectrum of hydrogen atom in the Baumer series are shown in the diagram below. First, explain the formations of the emission spectrum above. Second, draw a label energy level diagram to show the electron transitions of an excited hydrogen atom. Let's look at the information from the questions. It is talking about the Baumer series, which is invisible region. In order to get the first line of the line spectrum, the electron transition should be from n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 2. Now let's look at the answer for this part. First, Baumer series is the name given to the group of colored lines in the visible region of the hydrogen emissions line spectrum. These lines are result of electronic transitions from higher energy levels back to energy level with principal quantum 
number n is equal to 2. Then the various transitions down to energy level n is equal to 2 are each associated with the release of specific energy which is in the form of visible light with a specific wavelength. Lastly, the wavelength of the light emitted is given by the following equations. Next, we go to second part. Draw a label energy level diagram to show the electron transitions of an excited hydrogen atom. From the information of the questions, it states that it is Bauer series, that means to form the first line in the line spectrum, the electron transition should be from n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 2. Therefore, the first line in the Baumer series has the lowest value of frequency and it has the longest width length. So, to draw the energy level diagram, at first we need to draw the y axis which is labeled as energy. Then, label the principal quantum number n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Then, only we draw the transition energy of the electron, which are from n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 2. Then n is equal to 4 to n is equal to 2. Next should be n is equal to 5 to n is equal to 2. Lastly, n is equal to 6 to n is equal to 2. So my dear student, here are the steps how to draw the energy level diagram for the Baumer series in the atomic hydrogen spectrum. So, my dear student, see you again in my next lesson. Thank you.